All right, so we're gonna talk about some showmanship next. Um, I think showmanship is almost underrated. It's something that we need to really practice at home on a regular basis. Um, it's so important to get a calf in the ring and get it set up the right way, get a good look for that judge. I mean, first impressions are everything um, in show cattle and this life in general, but it applies to the show ring a lot. Um, so I, I think, you know, on a regular basis, you know, we want to practice 10 to 15 minutes on a daily basis. That's what we like to do. If you do that regularly, you're going to have that calf be comfortable with you. You're going to have, you know, getting that show ring, you're going to be confident together. So what we're going to talk about here is just how she's holding the halter first. We kind of talked about the correct halter size. Um, we have this halter fitted to the calf correctly. Um, you see how she's holding that, that chain on there. She's got her hand, you know, somewhat close to that O-ring on there, but it is, there is a little space in between her hand and that O-ring. Um, I think that's important. You want to allow that heifer to make you feel comfortable um, and feel, for the heifer to feel comfortable. Um, so now we're going to walk a little bit. And as we walk, we have a transition of the hands and show stick. I think that is an awkward transition and that's something that you know, that's something you practice at home. So doing that on a regular basis is important. Um, we're gonna find a, a nice speed for the calf. Usually when we take that turn, we're gonna try to get to the fence, make the show ring as big as possible. Um, as we continue around and are having a nice, nice pace for the calf, calf's walking good, um, we're gonna slowly start to set up. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna turn our body and we're gonna have another transition of the show stick and uh, the show halter and you see how she goes ahead and she moves that foot uh, it's important that we have this back leg the, the leg that's closest to the judge is back or I guess it's always like this and our front feet are square so we, we have square front feet um, the show side legs always back and this is another thing we want to practice at home because we're thinking in our head this is exactly what the judge is going to see so we want to make sure when we get her set up that it's perfect, it's the way we want it. So um, practicing that at home is, is crucial. Um, next thing I want to talk about is if you don't get set up as soon as you walk into it, you want to be able to half step. And when I talk about half step, I, want, I talk about one foot at a time, just moving forward. So let's kind of do that quick, see if we can't do that. Uh, see that one foot comes up, the next foot comes up, and we're back to set up now. We're back to being set up. And it was quick transition, it was an easy transition, and um, you're not having to circle a bunch. But if you do have to circle, it's important that, um, so say, say you're going to circle here. You always want to turn to your right. It's important. Uh, this is going to give you more leverage on your calf, and we're going to make a big circle. So if there's another calf back here, we want to make another circle the width of that calf too, and come back in. And, and set up again. So we make a big circle here and we're back to being set up. She's got this calf trained extremely well, uh, basically walks into it, you can tell she's practiced with it. Uh, the only thing that she has to do is usually touch that left front leg. And I think uh, that's the only foot you should ever have to touch. I think it's important that, you know, I see a lot of kids start sticking, taking their show stick and sticking back legs. Um, it gets a little awkward on how they look just because their weight's going to be proportional, uh, proportioned differently on those. And it throws off the look, it throws off their hip. And I mean, it can just throw off everything. So I think if you do this at home, you train them uh, to set up this way and you train them to half step. Um, I believe that's the best way to get your calf ready for the show ring and to look the best it possibly can when it, that judge is there.